According to the investment firm Janison Henderson, REITs are today priced at a 30% discount to the NAV on average. This is the lowest valuation in many years and what it essentially means is that you get to buy real estate at 70 cents on the dollar through the purchase of REITs. But don't take my word for it. Recently we've seen many REIT insiders make very significant investments. They are now loading up on the shares of their own REITs because they are so heavily discounted. Hey everyone, this is Yossi. I run a small investment firm that specializes in REIT investing. And in today's video, I'm going to highlight to you three REITs that we own in our portfolio that recently experienced significant insider purchases. But before I get into it, could you please do me a favor and like this video? It will really help me a lot to grow this channel. Thank you very much for your support. So the first REIT I want to discuss here is called Agri Realty. Its ticker symbol is ADC. It recently had over 4 million worth of insider purchases, which is the most that I know of in the REIT sector. Just like these insiders of the company, I've also been buying more shares of it because I think that the shares have been unfairly beaten down. Over the past year, the share price of the company has dropped significantly because the market worries that the surge in interest rates will hurt its business and that a recession could also lead to some lease defaults. But in reality, the fears here are really overblown in my opinion. Agri Realty owns some of the highest quality net lease properties which generate very steady cash flow from long-term leases, whether we are in a recession or not. Then it pairs these defensive properties with a fortress balance sheet that has low debt and long debt maturities. The company has no major maturities until 2026, which means that it won't be impacted by the recent surge in interest rates. Today, its cash flow keeps on steadily rising, but the valuation is down very significantly. And for this reason, I think that the REIT is now quite opportunistic. Its dividend yield is approaching 5%. Historically, the REIT has been able to grow at about 6% per year. Year, those two combines together should get you to double digit total returns. And then on top of that, I think that there is some upside from repricing as its FFO multiple recovers in the coming years. In many ways, I think that Agri Realty is an improved version of Realty Income because it owns similar properties, it has an even better balance sheet, but it's smaller in size and this should allow it to grow even faster in the coming years. Please know that I'm currently working on a comparison between Realty Income and Agri Realty and I expect it to post it on this channel in a few weeks so make sure to subscribe to the channel. Then the second read I want to discuss here is called safe hold ticker symbol SAFE. It recently had about one and a half million worth of insider purchases. This is a very bullish signal in my opinion because the share price of the company has crashed over the past year. Safehold is the only read that specializes in ground leases which are very sensitive to interest rates and as a result it has seen its share price drop by about 70%. In case you're not familiar with ground leases, to make it simple here, a ground lease is when you own the land and then you lease it to someone who builds a property on top of it and leases the land from you typically for 99 years. Then when the lease expires, the landowner, so the ground lease investor, gets the building free of charge. In the meantime, the ground lease investor collects steady rental income and in case your tenant defaults on its ground rent payments, then it also gets the building free of charge. As a result, ground leases are very safe, but because their durations are so long, at 99 years in most cases, they are very sensitive to interest rates. This caused the share price of the company company to crash over the past year. But the flip side of things is that if now interest rates eventually return to lower levels, we could see a rapid recovery in the share price of the company. I think here that it's worthwhile to remember that interest rates surged over the past years because inflation got out of hand. But now the inflation rate is rapidly coming back down. The economy might be dipping into a recession. And therefore, I think that it's quite likely that we'll have some significant interest rate cut over the coming years. I can't predict exactly when interest rates will be cut next. But if you look back at the past 40 years, you will see that every time we've had a surge in interest rates, this has been quickly followed by some steep interest rate cuts. I think that this is a very strong catalyst that could lead to very significant upside potential. The stock of Safehold could double from here and would still be priced at a steep discount to its all-time highs. And I really like the risk reward here because Safehold has long debt maturities and therefore even if interest rates remain high for years to come, the company should be just fine. The CEO is now loading up on shares despite already owning a ton of them and I'm also buying more of it. Then the third and final read here is called Unity Group, ticker symbol UNIT. This is a 
read that we have previously highlighted on the channel, so I'll put a link somewhere on the screen of this video. The CEO of the company recently bought about 1 million worth of shares, and again, I think that this should send a strong signal to the market. This is an infrastructure read that owns a portfolio of fiber networks. This is a property sector that's typically quite desirable, but despite that, Unit is actually one of the cheapest REITs in the entire market, trading at about four times FFO, or put differently of 25% FFO yield, and a roughly 60% discount to our estimate of its net asset value. To make it short, there are two reasons why the REIT is so heavily discounted. Firstly, it is litigating with one of its biggest tenants, Windstream, which is arguing that when its lease expires in 2030, its rent will come down very significantly. Unit is claiming that this isn't the case, and so seeing the CEO invest so much of his money in the shares of the company is very encouraging. And then the second reason why the stock is so heavily discounted is of course the surge in interest rate. Unit is somewhat more affected because its balance sheet is quite heavily leveraged. But a nice thing here is that Unit doesn't have any major debt maturities until 2026. And as we explained earlier, I think that it's quite likely that by then interest rates will have returned to lower levels. Just like safe hold, this rate is quite a bit riskier than average, but the upside potential could also be very significant. Not too long ago, it was actually rumored that Unit could be bought out for $15 per share, and today it trades at just about one third of that. To be clear here, I wouldn't expect Unit's share price to triple anytime soon here, but if we now see interest rate drop back down and the company makes more progress negotiating with its biggest tenant and also deleverages its balance sheet, it really wouldn't surprise me if its FFO multiple expands from let's say four times closer to eight times, which would still be relatively low for an infrastructure REIT. That would unlock 100% upside and while you wait, you also earn a 10% dividend yield. Finally, I want to remind you once more that Unit is quite speculative and for this reason, I personally only maintain a small position as part of a well-diversified portfolio. So these are three REITs with major recent insider purchases, but they're actually many more. At High Yield Landlord, we regularly invest in REITs with major insider purchases because at the end of the day, the insiders know best what's the value of their properties. If you want to access my entire REIT portfolio, feel free to join my REIT newsletter, High Yield Landlord, for a two-week free trial. I'll put a link to it somewhere in the description of this video. And once more, if you could please like the video, really helped me a lot to grow this channel. Again, thank you so much for your support and see you at my next one. Bye-bye.